Hello and welcome back to food and drink reviews and here we go with another drink review so if you remember the last thing we looked at was those bounty soft bake cookies wasn't too keen to be honest as I uh, expressed in that last video so here we are with a drink review something to uh, wet my whistle as it were just as well in this weather very, for those of you who live in the UK it's very hot today well it's not very hot but it's quite warm and with me having the upstairs bedroom uh, heat rises so it's uh, a lot cooler downstairs than it is upstairs but um, unfortunately I can't due to privacy reasons I can't film downstairs uh, not yet anyway not until the summer but uh, I'm planning a, a nice big, uh, a big video for you in the summer, um, but I'm not going to reveal that just yet. So what are we looking at? Well, we've got an alcoholic drink to look at today. Uh, that's the one good thing about not being in Ashwood anymore. Uh, I can review alcoholic drinks as well as non-alcoholic drinks. I. I'm planning to do quite a few non-alcoholic drinks um, pretty soon because I've done a few, a good few alcoholic drinks now. I think I need to slow down um, because I'm not, I'm not an alcoholic. I'm not a drunk. You know, I, I'm not one of those people who drinks every time they get an opportunity. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm just doing this for YouTube, really. So. I am going to start slowing down and maybe like looking for a few more exotic non-alcoholic beverages to, uh, to look, look at for you or maybe even some uh, alcohol free beers and ciders because yes you can get non-alcoholic beers out there uh, maybe I'll have a look at one of those for you but uh, only time will tell so let's crack on with this now we're looking at it's a can of lager uh, lager is the only thing I can make out. I'm not sure how this is pronounced. Okay, Okim? Is it Okay, Okim? Or a Kokim? Okay, Okim? I'm not too sure how it's pronounced. There's hardly any English written on this can whatsoever, so I don't know where it's from. I've got a feeling it might be German because there's a picture of a stein on the back. I'll show you that in a second. I've got a feeling it could be a German lager, but I'm not too sure. Um, I'll just turn the can round for you. Obviously, there's no point showing you every little detail because I can't make out what it says. See, there's a picture there. There's the logo, which is in the shape of a big beer barrel with a tap on it. And it's obviously pouring beer into a stein, what looks like a German stein. Or a pitcher. Looks more like a stein to me, though. Or stein. Stein, stein, however it's pronounced. I say stein. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know because obviously, look, there's no hardly anything written in English at all. The only thing I can see in English is that look, lager, seven percent volume. That's the only word in English I can make out. The word lager. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the words because I'm just going to offend people if I do. I'm trying to see if it does actually say. That does look like it might say Germany. That Germany there. Just there where my finger's pointing. In big white let lettering. Could that be Germany? It sounds a bit like Germany, if you were going to try and pronounce it. 
lot of condensation on this can because it's just come out of the fridge so it's going to be nice and cold. No, I can't. I don't do any research either with these reviews. So, you know, this is a complete guess. So it's a lager, it's 7% volume, it's, I'm presuming it's from Germany, I could be wrong. But let's have a look, shall we? So we've had a look at the can. Stand the Kindle up now. I'm struggling. So here is my trusty glass that I've uh, liberated from the kitchen. It's not my glass, it's, I don't know whose is it, well it's the house's glass. But it's quite a nice sized glass just for this, uh, for this review. I do have a couple of glasses um, on, upon, on my person that do belong to me but um, none of these will be suited for what we're looking at so I've had to borrow one. So let's just open up the can so you can see at the top of the can lovely in gold your classic ring pull. So obviously I'm not going to open it like that but obviously you, you do you lift that up and then press it down so I'll do that now there we go and I used to do work experience in a pub so I know how to pour lager you have to tilt the glass a little bit and pour it slowly you don't want too much of a head this will take a little bit of time. Well, now the glass is getting half full. We can just slowly start to level it out because you do want a bit of a head on there, but not too much. I think that'll do. There's a, there's a little bit left in the can. I could be naughty and have a sip now but that's going to spoil it isn't it? Actually I might. I might have a sip out of the can as the first taste uh, just so you can visualise this. So that's got quite a good head on it to be honest. It's very frothy though. It's a bit like soapy water. It's always the same when it comes out of a can. You end up with this really frothy head. And it's just not nice at all. You end up leaving your pint for ages to try and let it go down and then the beer goes flat. Uh, that's why usually I do prefer to drink beer or cider on draft. So let's have a look at it shall we? So. It's uh, the camera's not picking it up, so it looks like I don't want to put anyone off, but I'm gonna have to say it because that's what it looks like a pea sort of color. That's what it looks like on camera. However, it's very different off camera. I'm looking at it with my own two eyes. It's very, very, it's like a very dark, golden brownish sort of colour. Golden brown. No. Stranglers, I'll probably get flagged for that now. Copyright, but uh, there's a little pun in there, wasn't there? Golden brown. But no, it, it is. It's a very different colour from what the camera's showing and I just don't understand why it's doing this. It's, it's this Kindle. It just doesn't seem to want to pick up the actual colour. So, obviously I'm going to leave that to, for you to visualise. Obviously I don't trust me taking my hand away and that not spilling. So I'm going to have to keep my hands there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the can and I'm going to there's only a little bit left in the can so what I'll do is I'll just chug that and I'll let you know what I think so 
Here we go then. Now just before we start, this isn't a first taste. I've had this before and I've actually sort of enjoyed it, but I can't really describe it. So I thought I'd do a review and let you guys know what I think. So sorry I've got a cup. Here we go then. Quite interesting. That's uh, actually very nice. Uh, it's actually very nice straight out of the fridge. Very nice cold. I've actually got two more cans of these, so I'll probably have a little drinky boo tonight. With it being Friday night. Uh, yeah, very nice. Um, classic lager taste. It's got like a fresh. I can't really describe to you how lager tastes. It's got this distinguished taste to it. It's, it's hard to it's hard to describe what it actually tastes of. But lager's just got this sort of fresh perfumic sort of uh, zest to it. And I think that's the first thing that I can notice in, in this. It's quite, it's got quite of a kick. When you swallow it, it's quite strong. It sort of hits you a bit. Uh, but then again, it is 7% volume, so... Um, sorry, I should come back onto camera, should I? I'm going to have another sip in a minute, but obviously I don't want to do that on camera. I'd rather you just look at the pint. But uh, yeah, I can't, can't really distinguish any sort of flavouring from it. Let me have some more. Oh, that's just a froth left. I'm not drinking that. Gross. Right, I'll come back on to the shop then. Yeah, it just tastes to me like any plain old pint of lager. Uh, but obviously it does have that added kick. And I can imagine after a good few cans of this, it should be quite merry. Quite merry indeed, because it's 7% volume. Excuse me. Oh, look. Well, that's one thing it makes you do. It gives you gas, that's for certain. Sorry about that. Good elf, as my uncle would say. Good elf. But, uh, oh, you can see now that the head has started to uh, go down a little bit. So that'll make it a bit nicer to drink. So I'm actually going to... I don't know if I want to drink any out of this. I'll drink a bit. I'll have a, I'll have a bit more for you. But, uh, no, I just can't... I can't really describe it. I mean, it's a, it's a nice taste. It's very fresh. It's very re refreshing. Especially when it's just come out of the fridge. I was about to say freezer then. I was like, why did you put cans of beer in a freezer? Or refrigerator, as the Americans say. A lot of people say uh, refrigerators. I've heard some people say larder as well. Some people call them larders, but obviously I call them a fridge. But yeah, straight out the fridge. Lovely and cool. Very refreshing. Quite strong, but it's, it's not too overpowering. You know, it's drinkable. It is drinkable, which is always a good thing. But um, yeah, there's I just can't really say much about it. I believe like beer is made from. I think it's like is it wheat, is it wheat or barley or something like that. I'm not sure. I don't even know how beer is made, to be honest, or how it's brewed, but um, yeah, I would, I would class this as a beer more, because um, beer seems to be a lot stronger than, uh, than lager, but then again, it has got that fresh, smooth, refreshing taste that lager has. The nice, cool, 
sensation as it goes down your throat, whereas beer doesn't. Beer is the, well, depending on how strong it is, it's just like drinking, a bit like drinking chemicals sometimes, some beers are. But yeah, uh, this is like, very nice. I'm, I'm speechless, like this doesn't usually happen in my reviews, but I just cannot find the words to describe it. All I can say, it's very nice, it's very pleasurable. It's not overpowering, it's not too strong. It is much better being um, being cooled though. So if you if you were to come across these and try them for yourself, do do put them in the the fridge or the larder or the refrigerator or the ice uh, not the ice box, whatever you call them. Uh, but, but yeah, I would um, I would recommend you chill them before you you try it. Well, let's just have a little look at the glass to see is there any bubbles in there at all. There's a lot of condensation on the glass because obviously it's cool. I'm just going to give it a wipe. No, there isn't, is there? Oh, there's a couple. There's a couple, but I don't think the camera will make it out. There are a few little bubbles trickling up. That's good, because no one likes a flat pint, do they? Well, yeah, very, 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 very good. So, I'm just going to... I'm going to have another sip. I need to keep refrigerated. Refrigerated? I need to keep refreshed. Pop this up a little bit. There you are. Let's see if the Kindle kind of can pick it up now. Now that I've just, there you go, look, you can see the bubbles rising now. now. I've just topped it up a little bit. There's quite a few bubbles in there. Hope you can make that out. I've tried with the best possible lighting ever. But yeah, well I'm looking at it. I'm holding it up towards the window now. I can see a lot of, uh, a lot of bubbles in there. Let's have another quick sip. Very nice, very nice. Not what I'm used to, but yes, it is very nice indeed. So here's the can again, just to show you. So don't know how it's pronounced. Okay, okim, akokim, okokim, ok, okokim. I'm trying not to be rude here, but I just, I just don't know. Or could it be okay, okim? It pronounced "eem" at the end. I am. What? A co sim? Could it be a co sim? Could that that letter C be pronounced as C and not K? We don't know. But yes, it was a very very nice very nice lager. So, ooh, what do I score it? Well, this is the first lager that I have actually reviewed on my channel. So, this is a tough one because I don't want to keep buying it because it is very powerful. And like I said, I've had it once before. Um, there's a medicinal reason the night before my birthday. I'm not going to talk about uh, because um, I do have... I believe that the person who I had a little dispute with does watch my channel, so I'm not going to get into any details, but we basically had a disagreement, and it was like literally not before my birthday. Obviously, emotions were running high, so medicinally, I went to the shop and I got myself a four-pack of these just to sort of, just sort of calm me down and um, make me relax a bit. Well, I'm glad to say that we resolved our differences within the, the next hour, so it, it all worked out well. But yeah, like I've said, well, I have had this once before, um, but obviously this is the first time we've reviewed it. So 
I w don't think I'd buy it again because obviously I've had it before and I'm having it now and it is very overpowering it's not really what I'm used to but having said that it does deserve a 5 out of 5 because it is brilliant it's very fresh it's very smooth it's got a lovely taste to it it's very powerful that's for certain if you want to get merry it's very powerful but obviously like I said I wouldn't buy it again it's not because it's awful it's just because it is a bit too overpowering for my liking so that's the only reason that I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it again but it does deserve a 5 out of 5 for that so that's pretty much it so thank you for watching uh, just before we do end here um, please do drink aware if there's any younger viewers watching please do not drink alcohol if you're not of the legal age to do so I'm not no way encouraging drinking here at all there will be a message put up in the description of this video just you know warning viewers to please drink responsibly and only if you are of the legal ages to do so so thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed please leave a thumbs up leave a comment if you wish subscribe if you haven't and until the next time take care and I will see you whenever Ta-da! Or as I say in Germany, Alfie de Seine.